Hello Malaysia, Hello World. Apa khabar? Apa khabar? Welcome to ECM Talk. Our topic for today is Digital Revolutionary in Marketing, Changing the Marketing Landscape. I'm Raja Shahrul, your host. Digital marketing, just another one of those new fancy buzzwords we should use to sound smart in meetings? Or is it the real deal? Maybe a better question is, what is digital marketing? First popularized as a term in the early 2000s, digital marketing has actually been around much longer, like way longer, about 100 years longer to be exact. Remember Gagliamo Marconi? Yes, in 1896, he was the first human to demonstrate a public transmission of wireless signals. Marconi, the inventor of the radio. Shortly after his little demonstration in England, most signals were transmitted across open water. And while it would take another 10 years for the radio to reach the general public, it sure didn't take the creators long to realize they could use it to sell stuff. The first live broadcast was from an opera performance at the Metropolitan Opera House in New York City. And guess what people did after it? They bought the show tickets. The digital marketing strategy was born and it has gradually taken over the traditional marketing. Let us now listen to an expert in this subject. Ms. Hajinda Kaur, a lecturer from a private institution here in Kuala Lumpur. Hello, Harajinda, and welcome to ECM Talk. Hi, Raja Sharul. Welcome. Thank you for inviting me as a guest speaker for this session, Raja Sharul. Apa kabar? Kabar baik, Raja Sharul. Good. Now, my first question to you, um, Harjinda. Yes. How do you differentiate between uh, the traditional marketing and digital marketing? Yes, Raja Sharul, actually there is a vast differences between traditional marketing and also digital marketing. Yeah, As well, we all know that our, one of our marketing guru, which is known as Philip Kotler, he has actually uh, defined that marketing is all about creation of value, mm. right? delivering the value and also extracting value from the consumer. Yeah, But when we talk about creation of value, how do we actually create value for our country? for our consumers. Yeah, so basically marketers or entrepreneurs, right, they have to use the marketing mixes elements which comprises the four piece product, price, place, promotion, right? For instance, in terms of product, obviously it's important for the marketers or entrepreneurs to actually provide supreme quality of products and services to the clients mm. yeah for instance our pricing strategies obviously you have to provide appropriate pricing strategies to your client mm. in terms of promotion strategies obviously you need to promote and advertise aggressively your products and services to your client mm. so that you know your clients would be able to get what you are actually communicating to them and in fact in terms of placement strategy yeah is uh, very important that we should actually select a business location that is very much a uh, strategic in the sense that we have a high density population to reach the crowd so that we are able to make our sales volume and also profit mm -hmm. uh, yeah mm -hmm. so basically that is how we create the value mm -hmm. and delivering the value is also utmost important in marketing in the mm -hmm. sense that how the way we communicate our value to our consumers yeah. that is where the term of integrated marketing communications applies mm. in the sense when we talk about IMC it's all about advertising mm -hmm. all about sales promotion mm. publicity mm. direct marketing mm. and personal selling so yeah. this mode or platforms of communications are very very essential mm. to basically communicate to our clients mm. and when the marketers and entrepreneurs basically they are able to create the value and mm. also to deliver the value in an appropriate manner that's where we are able to actually extract the value from our consumers okay. in the sense that mm. obviously customer satisfactions will be enhanced yeah. that's where our business will be very much uh, you know um, sustained right survivable that's where we are able to enhance loyalty and stuff like that yeah mm. so looking into digital marketing that is different yeah mm. because mm. digital marketing is all about harnessing the five D's of managing digital marketing interactions mm. using 
five Ds, mm. which are known as the digital devices. When mm. talk about digital devices, we know that all the interactions actually. Mm using smartphones mm. tablets and stuffs like that mm. or even smart TVs yeah. gaming devices and yeah. stuffs like that yeah. looking at the second D which is known as a digital platform this is where the uh, so-called interactions are taken place mm. using social media platforms mm. for instance like Facebook Twitter Instagram mm. LinkedIn and so forth mm. yeah and looking into the third D which is known as digital media. Mm. So when talk about digital media, it's all about the uh, interactions using various channels to actually yeah. communicate our you know, targeted consumers, for mm. instance, using advertis uh, advertisement as a mode, right? Using email and messaging, for instance, using search engines and social networks, mm. yeah? Mm. And even we have uh, the fourth D, which is known as digital data. Mm. This is basically where the businesses and consumers get the engagements and interactions, mm. yeah? Um, using real-time data analytics mm. for instance or database management system mm. Mm. yeah and the fifth D which is known mm. as digital technology mm. this is where it actually refers to MarTech which is known as marketing technology that business actually used to create very interactive experiences yeah from websites and mobile apps mm. right to install kiosks and also email campaigns so Raja Sharul there is actually a huge differences between when we are talking about about traditional marketing and also digital marketing. Mm. Traditional marketing is all about like you're just looking into the concept of selling and advertising yeah. and the aim to just make profit. Yeah. yeah? yeah. But when you mm. talk about digitized marketing, it's mm. all about like how your brand is able to be sell in mm. the marketplace is through the word of mouth of your consumers mm. using the social media platforms mm. right with that that's where we are able to get a very good engagement all right mm. we'll be able to build loyalty among the consumers and yeah. so forth yeah. so that is the differences between both interesting it sounds so yeah. hip-hop if you ask me yes and these are terms that are spoken widely and a topic of conversation among every student's Around yes. around the world, so to speak, yes, isn't it? Yes. I mean, it's a very common common language yes, to everyone. Yeah? yeah, digital marketing. Okay, my next question: Why the need of organization to integrate traditional and digital approaches? Okay, fine. So obviously, the need of organization, right, is to actually complement these traditional ways and also the digitized ways. Mm. Because in the sense that Raja Sharul, that no any organization will just use the so-called one way in actually uh, delivering their products and services uh, in the marketplace. Yeah, mm -hmm. obviously they need to have the plan, the the, the so-called uh, you know plan between the complementary ways and also complement together and create the brand synergies. Mm -hmm. That is important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in the sense that the integrations of traditionals and digital approaches is important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In the sense that mm -hmm. consumers also rely very heavily. Around Right, uh, from different kinds of media mm. because it's not only one media that we rely yeah. on getting information about the products and services that you are actually advertising right True. we can even get a lot of information from social media platforms apart from just traditional ways mm. yeah mm. and in addition to that Raja Sharul is that today our market has been very much fragmented in the sense that you know market has actually gone very much diversification and stuff like that in the sense that that's the reason why the complementary of these traditional ways and also digitized which is, is, is actually essential there yeah okay. why the need of organization to integrate traditional and digital approaches that was what, what actually I have explained oh earlier. thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now let me yeah. go to the next uh, uh, question now this yes, is there yeah. two, two parts to this question yeah yes what are the digital revolutions that is changing the marketing landscape and any best practices adopted by organizations in revolutions in digital marketing that you would like to perhaps share with us? Yes. Mm. Actually, looking in today's advancements of technology, right, Raja Sharul, mm. today we are all talking about, the world is basically talking about IR 4.0. Mm. Evolutions has taken place in a very drastic pace of mode mm. in the marketplace and our world has actually gone globalized. Mm. Yeah, that's why a very common term in today's marketing landscape that we can hear about advanced robotics, for instance. Mm. Yeah, mm. And when talking about advanced robotics, and we know robots is actually a machine that mm. is programmable by a computer to carry mm. out a series of uh, activities uh, mm. 
um, in a complex manner. Mm. Yeah, for a very good example that I can share with you, the best practices actually made by Walmart mm. in the sense that Walmart has actually used new robot scan shelves mm. to restock items faster. Mm. All right, so in the sense that uh, you know Walmart has actually used these robots to actually replace their human tasks mm. in the sense that you uh, know they use that robots for floor cleaning, for instance. Mm. All right, to actually uh, replenish out of the stocks items in the store. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to even scan inventories. Mm. At the same time, yeah, Walmart has also been uh, speeding up their so-called checkout processes, mm. in a sense that they allows consumers to actually scan their purchases. Yeah, and at the same time, they even have their own digitized operations. For instance, having their own pharmacy and also financial services in store. Oh. Yeah, mm. and at the same time, here we can see that Walmart has been testing drones for actually um, home delivery, grocery pickup, for instance, and even checking warehouse inventories. Mm. So that is one example that mm. I can quote to you and also to give you a best practices made by Walmart. Mm. Yeah, and the second examples uh, is in relation to social media marketing. Mm. Well, everyone is very comfortable to you know to look into this social media marketing, and everyone is on go. Mm. All right, okay, to use all kinds of social media platforms mm. like LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, mm. and stuff stuff like that Facebooks and stuff like that mm. so very good um, best practices that I can share with you Raja Sharul is actually Starbucks yeah mm. how Starbucks have actually used social media marketing strategy mm. we all know that Starbucks is actually one of the um, iconic coffee chain right um, most engaging brand online yeah in the sense that the eye popping Starbucks social media statistic shows 37.2 million Facebook likes yeah 11.9 million Twitter followers 16 million Instagram fans and also 153,000 YouTube subscribers. So in the sense that mm. Rajesh Sharul, you just imagine that looking today out there in the world, right? Those young generation Y, for instance, Z generations, for instance, we are very much comfortable to look into this IT savvy stuff in the sense yeah. that we very much like to go into these kinds of platforms to actually engage ourselves with the brand. Mm. So when the engagement between you and the brand is there between mm. the consumer and the brand is there that's where the companies will be able to enhance the loyalty and yeah. satisfactions among the consumers okay. so that is the second example that I can share with you in terms of social media marketing mm. adopted by Starbucks mm. and lastly right there are many more actually but I just to share with you the three areas at yep. the moment yep. and uh, another strategy uh, that we hear today is about mobile marketing strategy mm. right everyone knows what is mobile marketing mm. now Nowadays, it is all online marketing activities are conducted uh, using our smart devices, mm. our tablets, and so forth. Mm. Yeah. So this is where we can see that Starbucks have actually practices this mobile marketing strategy mm. in a sense that we heard a lot that they have actually adopted e-wallet app and also the uh, so-called rewards app system. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. In the sense that they have various functions. For instance, they have mobile order and pay. Mm. In a sense that the consumers will be able to actually do payment in advance before they can actually collect mm. their actual beverages mm. and even they have inculcated inculcated various loyalty programs mm. yeah for instance uh, uh, you know in the sense that engaging consumers to buy more online and at the same time guarantees them with a complimentary beverages so with that basically uh, consumers get very much um, satisfied and engaged with the brand yeah. and that actually yeah. enhances the loyalty yeah. Yeah. yeah and finally they even inculcated a lot of special offers yeah during um, festive seasons or during birthday celebrations mm. they provide huge discounts Accounts, coupons, mm. watches, and so forth. Mm. All this is basically to get the consumer's engagement, to build right. the intimacy there. Yeah. So that are the good that, examples. That, that interaction, yeah. Yes, mm. that are the good examples that I can share with you. That mm. when we are talking about the revolutions in marketing, these are all the good practices of the uh, business organizations that ha- that have actually adopted yeah. to these revolutions. Yeah. yeah. Where do you think Starbucks Malaysia have gone? Looking at in terms of the facilities and services provided by Starbucks of the US. Uh-huh. What do you think of Starbucks Malaysia? How far do you think they've gone? 
Okay, in this. fact, looking at the statistics and so forth, which I have actually shared, that was the statistic that I've actually shared in Malaysia, mm. right? They have actually gone very far. Mm. In fact, I know, uh, competing throughout the whole world that I can say it, mm. that that's where that, uh, I know, they are actually uh, encouraging the consumers to actually engage with them lots online, mm. right? In the sense that that's where when we get, stay connected to that brand, that's where we are actually able to, uh, you know, uh, able to actually create the brand advocacy have mm. you heard about brand advocacy yeah, right? Yeah, the channel, yes, right? yes. in the sense that when you talk about brand advocacy is that uh, the brand speaks itself yeah. right the brand yeah. will carry its songs itself it yes. will sing along itself in yes. the sense that uh, when i'm very happy engaging with you using mm. your brand online and mm. stuff like that mm. i will definitely spread spread a positive word of mouth mm. all right to my surroundings online mm. i will just mm. click the so called like button and stuff like that True. i will post good reviews online and stuff like that so that it gets encouragement from the other customers to yeah. actually you know purchase that brand online as well mm. yes can't go wrong with starbucks yes giving yes. an example yes and how they do things yeah? yes they do things in a very very big way very big way yes yes, yes. 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 marketing is the activity set of institutions and processes for creating communicating delivering and exchanging offerings that have value for customers clients partners and society at large marketing or digital marketing at the end of the day it's all about customer marketing is customer thank you Harjinda Welcome. for sharing with us about this wide topic on marketing specifically on digital marketing we have heard from the expert how about you what is your understanding or definition of it I'm Rajesh Shaharul signing off Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to ECM, Edu Channel Malaysia. We eagerly waiting to hear from you. Until then, take care, stay safe and jumpa lagi. Bye. Marketing is the activity set. Now, before I go to that, I may need to start with the question and answers. Where is the camera gone? Okay. Why the need of organization to integrate traditional and digital approaches? That was what actually I have explained. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Now let me go yeah. to the next.